You know, there's nothing worse in life than when something fun turns into work. You married guys know what I'm talking about. You take ice skating, for example. Hey, I mean, that's fun, but like so many physical activities, it's just too darn physical. Well, here's a way you can strap on the blades, burn around the ice without even breaking a sweat. Recognize this? It's a rotary television area. You know, in the days long before cable, the whole street would come alive every half hour with these babies grinding and humming as Mr. and Mrs. John Q. Public would spin the dial in search of something half decent to watch. <laughs> okay, nowadays we're all supposed to be wired or wireless or online or something, but that doesn't mean we can't use our rotary antennas to have a little bit of fun. <laughs> Appreciate that, you know. This season is my favorite up at the lodge, along with the other three, of course. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is the harvest time of year. You know, you can get the fresh fruit and everything. I say it's a great, it's really a great time. I got some uh, plums for you, Mr. Green. You like plums? Oh, I sure do. Uh, yeah, where, where'd you get those, Mike? Thompson's Orchard. Oh, well, they'll be good. Yeah. How much they cost you? Nothing. <laughs> I just saw this sign that said, "Pick your own." <laughs> Oh, I didn't know you were supposed to pay. No. They need a better system. Now they need a better fence, Mike. <laughs> Just put them on the table till they cool off a little, huh? Wow. Is this the computer Harold sent you? Yeah, yeah, his company's getting rid of all their old computers, so he gave them to me. There's a, there's a flattering gift. I'm like a garbage man without a dump. <laughs> no, you have a dump. Oh, stop. <laughs> Hey, Red, Red, did you get my email? Huh? No, I haven't been down to the post office yet. <laughs> no, it's email. You don't go down to the post office. It's waiting in your computer. Huh? Here, look. Yeah, you just dial up the network, wait for a connection, enter your password, listen. You have mail. <laughs> there it is. Huh? See, there's the email I sent to you. Go on, read it, read it. <laughs> Hi, Red. <laughs> No paper, no envelope, and no stamp! And no purpose, Doc. <laughs> it doesn't cost anything? That's like email is free mail? No, not, not quite, Mike. The server charges you a monthly fee on your credit card. Oh, there's a fee. So it's fee mail. No wonder I don't understand it. <laughs> This is the repair shop part of the show we call, if it ain't broke, you're not trying. <laughs> Joining me today is Mike Hammer. What do you got for us here, Mike? Yeah, I got a suitcase um, of mine, and, and I can't seem to get it open, though. Well, it's locked, Mike. Uh, yeah, well, you know, and, I, and I've lost the keys. Well, you don't need keys. These are combination locks. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. Uh, well, you know, I packed this about a year ago, and I, I've just forgotten all the numbers, you know? But I, I, I was hoping that maybe you could just take the hammer and smash the locks off, then I could get in, right? Well, this, this is a repair shop. It's not a destroy shop. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I know, but, like, right now, the suitcase is unusable, right? So, it, like, it's broken, in a way. But if you smash the locks off, then I could get in there, and then it would be fixed, in a way. Okay. If I help you open this suitcase, I'm an accomplice in a way. What? No, 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 no. You don't get it, Mr. Green. This is my suitcase. Honest, honest, I swear. You swear? I swear. You possum large swear? All right. Oh, boy, I can hardly wait to see what's in it. I mean, to, to remember what I left inside it. <laughs> Black T-shirt, another black T-shirt, <laughs> jeans already rolled up, white socks. Holy cow, it really is yours. Oh, I, I apologize, Mike. You know, I, I always think you're up to no good, and I'm, I'm sorry about that. Well, that's okay, Mr. Uh, Green. I, I forgive you. <laughs> and oh, oh, here's what I'm looking for. Here it is, uh, my balaclava. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, uh, 
What do you, what do you need a balaclava for, Mike? I, I need it for snowmobiling. Well, it's not winter yet. No, I mean, I need it to get a snowmobile. Thanks a lot, Mr. Green. <laughs>
I'm gonna make up a huge batch of snowballs and put them in here. Oh, man. <laughs> Darn Super Bowl. All right, this is where the hammer valve comes in. Got her mounted on the ceiling here and uh, punched a hole up uh, through the cooler and through the roof of the van. Actually, there already was a hole in the roof of the van. Don't look over a speed bump with a pop can in your hand. Now I got this uh, string attached to the bottom of the hammer, and when I'm ready for a snowball, oh, you'd be amazed at how easy these pitching machines are to come by in the off season. All I gotta do now is to get her up into the van, line her up with the snowball hole, set the control for the high hard one. <laughs> all right, I got her all lined up and uh, in position. Now all I gotta do is close my Bombay doors. This is great, isn't it? I also got an idea of how to stop kids from hanging on to your back bumper. I'll give you a hint, it involves a heavy-duty truck battery. <laughs> First, let's go kick some snowball throwing butt. Well, Dalton, I'm sure glad you came by to see me before you abandon your family headed off to Mexico. The Yucatan, Red. It's the Yucatan, and I wouldn't have come to see you if I didn't need 50 bucks for gas. Well, I, and I wasn't going to give you cash, Dalton. I was just going to lend you my siphon hose. Is it wrong? Is it crazy for me to have a dream, huh? Is it wrong for me to want to help people? Well, no, not necessarily, but I just think, you know, running off to join a leper colony is maybe a little extreme. Well, it's my dream, Red, and I, I want to go someplace primitive where I can help unfortunates. Well, you can do that right at the lodge here. <laughs> it's not the same thing. No, and I, I know, Dalton, but, you know, is it possible that maybe you're running off to a leper colony indicates maybe you got some troubles here at home? Hmm? Uh-huh. I think maybe you're running off to a leper colony to avoid talking to your wife. And I also think you should go upstairs right now and say something nice to her. Well, like what? Well, I, I, I don't know, no. What did you two talk about when you were dating? Amway. <laughs> Did you tell her about your little adventure you yes, got planned? Yes, yes, I left a note saying I was going to live in a leper colony in the Yucatan. <laughs> Champagne. She's taking it well. Hmm? Man, this computer craze is wrecking our town. Nobody's outdoors, nobody's doing anything. Instead of pulled muscles and hernias, all we got is carpal tunnel syndrome. <laughs> I got no use for the darn thing. But you can't even turn it off. It's like Harold. Oh, you can turn it off, Red. What? Just gotta shut all the windows first. <laughs> well, now that makes sense. Uh, you, you gotta keep up with technology or it's gonna leave you behind. This isn't progress, Dalton. Everybody's locked away in their house sending out messages. It's like they're, like they're cavemen beating on their drums, for gosh sakes. <laughs> You have me. Okay, how many email messages is that for me? 93. Oh, man. Although, uh, 85 of them are me asking you to pick up your email. Right. You know, 
Fred, there's way more to computers than this, though. I mean, come on over here. I'll show you how the internet works. Oh, huh? I know. www.sitonyourbuttfor12hoursaday.com. <laughs> is the greatest source of information in the world. Yeah. Okay, now, uh, say you wanted to know something about, um, plums, okay? You type in plums. Look at all the information you get, huh? Look, look. There's a guy with the world's largest plum. Wow, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> no, he's holding the plum. <laughs> You're looking at his wife. Oh, yeah. And look, here's some stuff you didn't know, like plums got vitamin C and D, they float, and plums conduct electricity. Oh, no, no, not these ones. Mike said there was no charge. <laughs> oh, Fred, Fred, it's done. Yeah. On time. I got my new animated feature ready. On time. <laughs> Were you worried? You always worry me, Gordon. <laughs> you know, uh, this film is a little different. Yeah. I still drew all the pictures and did all the voices, but I think the subject matter is very edgy. Yes, well, I'm very edgy right now myself. <laughs> oh, suet? Uh, no, no, thank you, no, 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 no. You sure? Winter's coming. <laughs> Not if I eat that, it isn't. <laughs> Now, Red, how much do you know about rocks? Rocks? Oh, I know enough about rocks. Not enough. Oh. Let me teach you. Watch. of like how nature is? Fine then, pay attention. Your first lesson will be about these stick-shelled eggs, which occur abundantly in nature. Ah, uh, that's a stone board. <laughs> wow, that stone was an egg. All stones are eggs. Open your eyes, you fools. So, oh, all of these stones around us here, eh, are actually eggs. Don't you see? Stones have been fooling us for many years. We've just assumed that stones are made out of nothing but rock. Ah, uh, well, where do the stones that are actually eggs come from? Attractive women in hot air balloons distribute the eggs all around the world. Oh, that's ridiculous, Gord. <laughs> <laughs> Women have a thing for me. Ah, oh, I hope that someday I can attract women the way you do, Master Ranger Gord. Oh. Get real. Hey, Master Ranger Gord, is that the stone you're sitting on also an egg, eh? That is correct. I am about to hatch this egg. Well, what will that stone hatch into? This egg will hatch into a black hole which will devour all ignorance for miles around. You see, boys and girls, ignorance is bliss until a stone hatches into a black hole, that is. <laughs> Do you go out on a date, you know, like, ever? Oh, yeah. Actually, I got a date tonight. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, where are you going on this hot date, anyhow? Uh, the movies. Oh, that's right. It's a cheap night at the movies, isn't it? Hey, two get in for the price of one? That's good thinking. Well, she usually pays for herself. I don't mind. <laughs> Actually, she'll probably pay for both of us. But she makes more money than I do. Well, I don't think that matters, Dale. I mean, you asked her out. She's your guest. No, she asked me out. She asked you out, she phoned you and asked you out? Yeah. Yeah, like she just comes up to you and says, hey, what do you say, you and I go out and paint the town? Like she's the guy and you're the girl? Right. <laughs> you, you gotta prove to her that you can show her a good time. 
like of all the guys in the world, she's got to feel like she's lucky to be with you. Don't you get it? Isn't that important to you? Nope. Oh. Get away from the treasures, you, you Martian pigs! You want more of this, do you? You want a piece of me? Shouldn't you close the windows before you beat the crap out of the computer? <laughs> what if the power's gone off? Can't you do something? Oh, I can do lots of things, Dalton. The sun's shining, I can go boating, I can go fishing, I can go hiking. Turn the power on. I was on level four. Well, I think you just probably blew a fuse here. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. Oh, geez, Dalton. I haven't got any spares. You got a coin? <laughs> oh, I haven't got a coin. Look at me, one of those plums I learned on the internet. They conduct electricity. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, huh? Yeah. You see? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I hope it's right hand thread. <laughs> that can't be good. No. Red, you wrecked the computer. No, 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 you did it, Dalton. You shouldn't have picked such a big plum, too much juice. <laughs> Green. No, Green. Green. Meantime. Yeah, he, you go ahead, Mr. Gates, I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> so my wife is watching, I'll be coming straight home after the meeting, and yes, I know it's the computer age, but let's not forget about personal interaction. <laughs> when I get home, I want to show you that I'm user-friendly. <laughs> Thanks for watching. On behalf of myself and the whole gang up here at Possum Lodge, keep your stick on the ice. Okay, okay, everybody sit down. Go ahead and sit down now. Yeah, go sit down. Everybody sit down. Sit down, everybody. You guys sit down. All right! Bondo, Omni, Flunkus, Maritati. Bow your heads for the man's prayer. I'm, I'm a man, man but I, I can change, change if, if I, I have to, to I, I guess. guess. <laughs> or get an upgrade. It's computer talk. <laughs>